Hi Aries, welcome to your mid-July general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Aries. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. Hi cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in an Aries, who wouldn't be? I like to remind Aries and cross watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. Alright Aries, let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl to clear and set the energy for you guys, so let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. and tune into the energy of Aries. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and see what is going on in your love life from now to the end of the month that you need to know about, be aware of. And for this reading, I am tuning into energy that's in or around your psychic field of someone that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you, whether this is someone you've been knowing for a while, a secret admirer, maybe someone about to come into your life that you need to know and how it's all going to go down. Let's see what's going on here. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Interesting. Tell me more. Tell me more about Aries. Aries love life. Okay, then we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership and retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world. Okay. First of all, the letter R is sticking out to me very strongly, as in Rachel, Ryan, first, middle, last, initial, but someone could even have two R's in their name. Regardless, there's someone that wants you to trust in this Aries. There's someone that wants to spend a lot more intimate time with you. They want to take you on a date one-on-one. -on -one. They want to invite you over to their home to have an intimate night together, but someone's afraid to really give this a shot, to give this a chance to fully be open to it. When this card comes up, it's definitely a message about someone who's been hurt from their, I'm feeling for someone their last relationship was pretty brutal. Someone definitely broke someone's heart. And I do feel that it's been taking some time for someone to be open to love again. But there is someone, Aries, that really wants to hold on to this, really wants to hold on to you. Really feels like there could be something special between the two of you that they want to start building at. And they want you to trust them. They want you to open up. Or this could all be vice versa. Okay, the roles could definitely be flipped here. There is someone that has very strong arms. I, or maybe someone, I'm not, I'm not sure why I'm drawn to the arm. Maybe someone has a birthmark on their arm, a tattoo on their arm right here. Um, but I don't know. I feel almost as if someone loves holding you, Aries, or loves being held by you. I do feel that when you guys touch one another, the chemistry is very strong. I'm, I don't know. I'm getting very strong sacral chakra energy here, but with retreat, I do want you guys to notice in this card here, it looks like they're wearing like wedding attire, right? So this doesn't feel so much as retreat from the relationship as much as it is that someone is definitely wanting to just be with you on a one-to-one -one basis more often. I wonder if you guys hang out through friend groups, so there's a lot of people around. You go out, you know, with your friends mainly, but there's someone that wants to zero in on you. And even with this retreat message here, I almost feel as if someone wants to cut out other options to see where this can go with you. They're willing to take this to the next level. They want to take this to a partnership or they're feeling very strongly that even if this has just started between the two of you, there's something that is making them feel like they can commit to you or start really focusing on what you two can build together. Someone could be wearing blue right now. Um, blue is someone's favorite color. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say 
about how they feel about you? What do they think of you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection that they have with you currently? And what do they not like about it? And what are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you, Aries? What are they really hoping is going to happen and unfold between the two of you? And what are they afraid of? So I was a little shocked right there to see the sun be the card of how they feel about you. So someone could have Leo in their chart. Someone could have Leo rising in particular. Obviously, it's not for everyone. But they feel very happy to have found you. They feel truly that you are the light in their lives that has been missing in their love life particularly. You have an amazing smile. They feel like you make them laugh. There's something very funny. Maybe you guys have a lot of inside jokes. You joke around with each other type of vibe here. You definitely can like play off of each other very well. But it's been taking some time. It's definitely been taking some time. And I do feel someone has been trying to give the other person space, has been trying to understand the other person. But it's almost making someone wonder if, you know, there's something that they're not doing enough of. If there's something that is blocking the two of you that needs to be addressed, that needs to kind of be said here. They want to talk about this for sure, but they're afraid to talk it up and bring it up in case that would be something that would make you retreat, Aries. So bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. Okay. So this is Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. You could have strong Scorpio in your chart. You know, with the Six of Cups energy, not so much about the past is what I'm getting, but this connection has healed a lot from your past your past heartbreaks, your past upsets, this person's appearance in your life has kind of made you start to be more open to love, to kind of see love from a higher perspective. I do feel that with this Six of Cups energy, this person wants to prove to you, Aries, that they're not going to hurt you, that they're not going to break your heart. Now, also with the Six of Cups being at the bottom of the deck, I definitely feel past life energy between the two of you. Your souls have met before in a past life. And I do feel there's purpose to you guys meeting right now in this time. I do feel with the Six of Cups, even for some of you, if it's not like you've just met, maybe you've known this person for a very long time, since high school, college, whenever, right? But nothing has really sparked off until now. So I'm getting a lot of different vibes here, but most definitely I feel so far within this connection, this person is really sweet. This person sends like good morning text messages. This person tells you and compliments you all the time about, you know, how beautiful you are, how handsome you are. They are definitely the type that has hit a part of your heart, Aries. And I think you are well aware of that. There is someone that likes to swim a lot. Maybe they have a pool, a hot tub, um, something along those lines. But they, since the moment they met you, they've felt something very special towards you. They felt something that they want to work on. They want to progress in. And it's definitely been taking its time, right? But they feel as if they met you for a reason to kind of heal the past or have met for a reason because during this time in your lives, you were meant to meet to re-spark a past life connection here. So let's get into it. How they feel about you is the sun card. Leo energy. I mean, they feel very happy. They feel as if they met someone that has really shown them what true potential of love can be. They feel happy around you. They feel successful to have gotten this far with you, Aries. They feel as if there's a strong interest and need to pursue. They feel with the sun card here, maybe you guys met, you know, in the early summer or in the summer season of this year, whenever, right? But with this sun card, Again, there's very healing energy I'm kind of feeling around this, where it's almost giving someone kind of the feelings of hope again in love and romance. And you know, also an acceptance. Acceptance that something couldn't have happened with someone from the past because you guys wouldn't have met. You guys wouldn't have had this pursuit or interest in one another. 
They get so excited to see your calls, your text message, to see that you want to hang out. They love seeing you smile. Again, that smile is what I keep on feeling like I'm drawn to. There's something about it. So let me clarify this sun card because I kind of want to get a little bit deeper into this. Can you tell me more, Spirit? They find you, like your face, to be very beautiful and handsome particularly. Really nice skin too. Tell me more about this sun energy for how they feel about Aries. Yes, exactly what I'm saying with the Five of Cups, emotional loss. There was emotional devastation. Maybe even if it wasn't like the last heartbreak that someone went through, there was just a lot that has been burdening someone emotionally. And truly, like I do feel part of this healing someone's going through is regards to this connection. I'm hearing all is not lost. So again, like wh whether someone was devastated by someone else from the past, like that was a karmic. That was a karmic for sure. And I do feel that meeting this person or meeting you is showing them that particularly, which is helping them break some sort of any sort of psychic or emotional attachments to someone from the past. Yes, the universe, number 21 here, the universe definitely had some sort of setting up on this, on their part. I do feel with the world card here, it is meant to progress someone, is meant to free someone. Wow. And that's why, you know, someone feels so ready now. I, I do feel with, you know, right now as I'm reading this to you guys, like someone is ready to take this to the next level to get serious here. But what they think about this connection or think about you is the devil. Now with this tarot card, I this is um, the vice versa tarot. And this is the traditional devil. This is the one that has a deeper meaning to it. And with this, I feel almost as if there's a lot that they are starting to realize that they've held too much onto, certain behaviors, certain patterns, especially anything that has to do with trust issues, thinking that, you know, the other shoe is going to fall, the next bad thing is going to happen. I do feel like even if there was bitterness or resentment from a past situation, that has been held on to for too long and someone is breaking the chains from that. You know, I feel with this devil card here, like someone is truly starting to accept that the past had to happen for me to be fully ready with all the lessons I went through, the pain I went through, to have better discernment, to kind of shed and purge any sort of shadow energies, whether that's from within me or that I kind of took on from someone else. I'm saying that because in the bottom left corner here is the lotus, and some of you may have a strong connection to the lotus, like um, on a personal level here, but I feel like you went through the worst in that situation, Aries, and if it wasn't like that past relationship, again, it was maybe from being alone for so long, for, you know, if it's not even romantic relationships, certain family relationships, beliefs about love and romance in regards to the example set by your parents. Maybe they didn't have the happiest relationship but stuck together. Maybe there was a lot of cheating, a lot of fighting. So I feel as if this person, again, is letting you know that love is not all a battlefield. Love is not something that you always have to second guess, always have to doubt, always have to question. And I do feel with the devil being on this side of the of the card here, I think there's something that is going to be revealed that they're not, you know, this person coming into your life, whatever they have to bring is not going to bring about the worst possible situation. Now, also with the devil, I got to say, Aries, they have a lot of sexual thoughts about you. They are very sexually attracted to you. You guys have a strong physical attraction to one another and uh you know just I think I'm hearing wild 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 thoughts by Rihanna here I don't know if that song means anything to you in particular but they definitely get these wild thoughts that they definitely felt like they couldn't show they don't want to give you the wrong idea because truly with the sun card this is not just sexual they are a little bit freaky in the sheets too. I wonder that someone wants to kind of bring about 
there's a hunger that you bring about within them, Aries. But again, with this being on this side of the devil card, it doesn't feel toxic, but it definitely feels like that innate animalistic nature that we all have as humans, especially when it comes to romance, sex, and love. There's a passion they have for you here. And I think that there's something that they want to get real physical with you with. They want, if you haven't been intimate, they want to get intimate with you. And maybe that's some special night that they want to set up between the two of you. What they like the most about you is the Knight of Cups. Pisces energy. So Aries, they again view you as someone who is easygoing, that someone that's a little bit charming, flirtatious, but very subtly show, not like the Knight of Wands that's like up in your face, like you're looking good, what you doing, but a lot more of a catch me if you can type of way. And I'm saying this too because the Knight of Cups on this side is more like open up verse, but you have like this mysteriousness to you. You have this energy of, you know, I'll let you get a hint, but you have to pick up on everything else. They feel very spiritually, intuitively drawn to you. Like they describe you as a magnet in some sort of ways. I do feel with this Knight of Cups energy, you are sincere. You are a little bit shy maybe, but again, like you leave hints, you leave some crumbs for them to follow. But I feel with this Knight of Cups energy too, maybe you guys met during the nighttime. I'm seeing like out in front of a bar or out in front of a restaurant. I do feel with this Knight of Cups energy too that again, with all the stars that are being shown in this card here, like there is more to this. And even with the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck, with that past life energy, they're coming to find how alike you are and how much more drawn to you, not just on the physical level that initially attracted to them, but in a spiritual way. Maybe some of you are spiritual and you talk about your spirituality, you talk about your beliefs, your philosophies in regards to life, and they feel like you open your their mind in a lot of ways in regards to that. But they know you've been through a lot, Aries. They know it's been a rocky road for you. Maybe you opened up to them about that in a way that you didn't open up to other people. But you felt like already you could, a part of you could trust them as far as like revealing your story, revealing your hurt. And they see you as a strong person for what you've been through. And someone could drive a silver car as well. What they don't like about you is the Eight of Pentacles. Virgo energy, okay? So someone may take work as a priority or may use work as an excuse to kind of like, especially if they've invited you before on a date that was supposed to be really, really intimate, but you didn't know if you wanted to do it. You didn't know if you were ready to do it. You kind of just used something else as a excuse to get out of it. And it could have been work related. Or it's kind of like if you are working really, really hard, it's hard to see you often because of the work that you're diving into. Now, I got to be honest and real here with someone. There could be someone that has a kid and they may know that if they date you, if they're a part of your life, like raising that kid is going to be a lot of work. Not that they would ask you to, you know, entirely raise them, but it's like, you know, having a kid in a romantic situation is definitely a component that I can't ignore. Now, I wouldn't say that this is something they don't like about you or that they don't like your kid or something like that, but it is something that can prove to be a challenge. Now, with this Eight of Pentacles too, if it has been taking some time for you to open up to trust or maybe for them, just someone feels like they've been putting a lot of work in and maybe it still hasn't fully paid off. There could be someone that likes to babysit or like is a nanny as well, I'm feeling here, or works with kids, could be a teacher. Um, but anyway, what they like the most about this connection is the King of Wands, 
Aries energy, or ooh, Leo energy, but hey, fire energy, regardless, some of you could possibly be dealing with another Aries. You brought their confidence back. I mean, even just the fact that they see you with the combination of the sun and the devil, like you, like truly in their eyes are very hot, attractive, sexy, vibrant, magnetic, okay? In a very subtle way too with the Knight of Cups. But for the fact that you're giving them a chance, for the fact that it has gone this far or that they can see a future with you is giving them the boost, is giving them the assurance. I, I definitely feel there was a period of time they went through that they weren't so sure of themselves, they weren't so sure of love. Maybe even if there was like betrayal, cheating in the past, it kind of put their confidence a bit down as it would with anyone. But they feel ready. They feel like they're ready to start making plans. The king of wands is one of action, is one of decision making, is one of perseverance. They get what they want and they are patient but sure. And they'll do what they can to make it happen. They'll do what they can to focus in on it. And they're getting all this motivation from whatever they've recently experienced with you, Aries. They feel ready. That's how I feel with this whole reading here. And with this King of Wands, it's more about doing. They are the type that matches their actions with their words. And they're about to show it here. And they want to show it here. But what they don't like about this connection, very interestingly, is the Five of Cups. So with this version of the Five of Cups, we see a rose um, behind this person here who is mourning. And we, you know, also saw the Five of Cups with clarifying the Sun card. They still feel there's a part of you that won't give them a chance, that won't be fully open, that may still be mourning the past, maybe holding on to the past, or that's how you feel about them. And it's almost as if, like, if you were to just go for it, jump all in, I want to show you love. I want to show you the romance I've been dying to show or, like, the passionate nature to themselves that they felt like they've had to hold back because they didn't want to make you retreat. They didn't want to make you push away, but it's been hard for them to do it. I do feel too with this five of cups in this situation as well, they're afraid that with all this love that they're starting to develop for you, the intensity that they're starting to develop for you is not going to be met. Whether someone is still hurting, whether someone's just not ready for it. And I think that has been on the back of their mind. And I even feel there's someone, you know, in their energetic field, whether it's a friend, whether it's a sibling, whether it's someone that is kind of like, they're making you wait too long. Is this really it? Like someone in someone's um, energetic fear doesn't want the person to be led on. And although I don't think that's anyone's intention here, there may be someone who may be viewing within you two that one person's leading the other on, but I don't think that's the case. I think that's a genuine concern and worry just out of being someone that cares about you or cares about them. But I think it's just been taking someone a bit time to open up. Now someone's birthday could be April 5th, April 15th, perhaps March 25th for someone out there. Highest hopes is the seven of pentacles. Taurus energy, that from everything that has happened between the two of you, again, not all is lost, even if there's still so much more they want to have that hasn't happened. They're hoping that their patience and their perseverance is going to pay off, is going to be something that will grow to be what they've hoped for between the two of you. And I do kind of feel, to be completely honest, if someone feels as if they've been, you know, zeroing in on this, putting a lot more work into this, I do feel as if someone may recently have decided to kind of put the ball in someone else's court and see if they'll meet them halfway to continue this growth. But I do feel for the person who may be hurt, who may be guarded, who is slower to open up. They're really hoping that they can trust everything that they see with the potential, with the excitement that they feel, and that they won't be disappointed.
Deepest fears is the Two of Swords. Libra energy. That, you know, someone will just completely block the other person out. I do feel there's a fear here about someone going really, really cold, ice cold, maybe even ghosting. Just stop texting one day, stop calling one day. And that there'll just be silence and there won't be a lot of explanations. There won't be a lot of clarity as to why something ended. But yeah, I, I just generally feel like someone would not want to talk about moving this forward. Someone would just kind of go completely silent and leave it at that. And it would feel a little like I feel a sting here. It would definitely hurt someone if it were to end like that. That someone doesn't want to make the choice or maybe making the choice feels too scary with everything that has happened. So to just kind of let it die out and not to confront it, not to face it, not to give this a chance would be safer. I do feel that someone, whether, you know, being single for some time or has felt like being single is safe for them. is something that they're afraid that you're going to look at this, you know, make the choice for yourself. And the opportunity is going to fly by. And that if you push someone away for so long, for too long, they'll eventually play tit for tat. But they, they don't want to get ignored. They don't want to be ignored. And maybe if it takes some time to text back, call back, they're afraid you're ignoring them. All right, Aries, to see the likely outcome of this situation, what is likely to happen and unfold between the two of you from now to the end of July, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here, reveal it to show you what's likely to happen, anything else you need to know about this person, about their intentions, what's likely to unfold. And if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where I depart, Aries, I really hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope it provided you with confirmation, clarity, insight, healing, guidance, in regards to whatever is going on in your love life at this time. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Aries, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Aries.